So guys, I am back with another Power World video and today guys, I bring you the best world settings. It's actually an updated video from my previous one. I've had plenty of time now to test each and individual setting you can choose. And today guys, I bring you what in my opinion are the very, very best. And before we go any further guys, uh, I am giving away a few copies of this game to be in with a chance of winning one. Simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Now if you win on Xbox and you don't have Game Pass or purchase a game for you or just purchase Game Pass for you, it's as simple as that. So good luck. Okay, so if you're creating your own world, your own server, um, it's probably best to play around with the custom settings just to, I don't know, make things a little easier, make them harder, whatever. Me personally, I'm playing in my own world. I started this character more or less on release after having a week's early access um so yeah i wanted to rank up fast i wanted to just make things a lot easier for myself uh, but not too op i don't want to ruin the game for me and the settings i have right here guys i'll explain each and every single one of them and what they do uh just for you guys if you want to create your own world as well but adjust it from mine but I think mine right now are absolutely perfect. And what I will say is I do have a 20 on the XP rate. But still right now playing this every single day for days. I still ain't a max level. So don't get it twisted. Unless you actually seek out to reach that max rank. Um, and farm and farm and farm. You ain't going to be leveling up rapidly either or guys. So yeah keep that in mind. Okay so we're going to start with the daytime and nighttime speed. Now. This I do adjust depending on what I'm doing. Now if I want to farm something at night time, like a specific power that only appears at night, I'll come and bring this down to make my night time uh, last a little longer. But as of right now guys, one on one's pretty good. I think the in-game in general time is fine the way it is normally. But again, if you do want to say your day is to last longer, bring this down a little bit. Uh, if you want your night time to call much, much quicker, simply take that up. But I think one on one's perfectly fine. Uh, XP rate again anything between a 10 and a 20 is good I mean you will earn mass amounts of XP or it ain't OP in my opinion anyway but hey if you ain't got uh, 10 hours a day to play this game you work if you got college school your study I think a 20 between a 10 and a 20 is completely fine I play on a 20 I still ain't the max rank yet and I do play a game quite a lot the power capture rate a 1.5 is absolutely perfect with this anything more is just going to make it a little sh a little too easy in my opinion there's got to be a little bit of suspense uh, when it comes to capturing those powers so 1.5 5 is still great and still rewarding in my opinion pal appearance rate not affects gamer performance now the thing about this is guys uh if you take it up to a two it's it doesn't mean that there's going to be two or double the amount of powers in that said spot. I've put, took mine to a 1.5 and it's like double or tripled in some instances. So yeah, I think a 1.5 is completely fine. But the way this works is, uh, let's say the spark it, it's a single spawn in a specific area uh, and it spawns in one direct location. And what this will do is it just means multiple will spawn in that exact same location. It doesn't mean they appear in different parts of the map or in more parts of the map from their normal spawns that is not the case it's just that their normal spawns their standard spawns if you have this on a one if you pull it up it just means multiple will spawn in that exact same spot and you'll notice if you do move this up you'll notice that you'll see groups of them like walking together when you normally see like one or two so yeah keep that in mind okay so damage from uh, powers multiplier now this i reduce to a 0.5 because i'm just fighting now much much uh, harder hitting enemies and what the thing is as well a 0.5 isn't that great I could probably do taking this down even more I mean armor in this game your HP your shield it just when you get to that end game or mid to end game you still get absolutely destroyed with a few shots from powers even levels below you so bringing this down is definitely the way forward in my opinion so yeah keep that in mind maybe something you want to test out if you feel a little bit overpowered with this uh, a 0.5 take it up a little bit now the power, uh, the damage with powers multiplier. A 1.2 um, is actually the only reason I picked it and put it on a 1.2 is because I was going back into the lower leveled area trying to catch 10 of each of the lower level powers and me being like a 30 levels above some of them and me, I was just one shotting them so yeah. Uh, what I had to do was I had to create an old bow again, a crossbow, use standard arrows and bring their house down uh, like this and then just tame them. But I think this between a 1 
I know 1.2 is completely fine. I think damage in the game and your output of it is perfectly fine. Okay, so power hunger depletion rate 0.1 100%. I mean, they still eat like absolute monsters. It just means you'd have to feed them less often, obviously. What powers in your party? Uh, your flyers actually deplete their food bar so so fast. Um, even on a 0.1, so you will still have to keep up with food in your inventory to feed them for sure. Powers that your base will obviously feed themselves if you've got crops growing and things like that, so you haven't really got to worry about that. This I actually change for more sort of powers in my party when I'm going out and fighting, I'm taming and doing that good shit. Okay, power stamina reduction rate. I actually reduced this only because of my flyer. Uh, the flyer I was using was the Ragnarok, and when this was at like a 1 or whatever it is standard. I was landing too much, it was just doing my head in, so I took it down all the way to a 0.1, which is fine. I mean, you barely have to land for stamina with this, it could be a little bit OP for some people, uh, so take it to a 0.5, but a 0.1, in my opinion, is completely fine. Power auto HP regeneration rate, I've got this at 2.6. This I've tested quite a lot, a 2.6 is about right, in my opinion, uh, but don't get it twisted if your pal is in battle and it's fighting against something a lot stronger. Um, trust me you're still gonna get absolutely slapped there's no two which ways about it this is just for me to jump on my power when he's in battle and i can run around for like a minute or so and i'll get like half his bar back it isn't that crazy of a regeneration rate at not uh, 2.6 uh, you could always increase this further but i think a 2.6 is on the barrier of being just about right power sleep health regeneration rate now this i changed i've messed around with i've actually found a little trick so this is void for me now uh, when your power is knocked out or ko it's died in battle or got knocked out in battle simply put it in your party keep it in your party you go to sleep and it regenerates perfectly fine uh, if that's too much of something for you to do i mean just, just adjust this to whatever you want a two is just about right though in my opinion Damage from player multiplayer and damage to player multiplayer. Now these I would keep at a one uh, each if you are planning on other people playing in your world, in your server. I actually did this in my last video, I just messed around. Even though no one can join my game, I thought, well, yeah, if they even do, uh, they ain't going to do no damage to me and I'm just going to do lots of damage to them. But yeah, keep this at a one, one guys. Uh, I forgot to actually adjust that. Player hunger depletion rate, I put this at a 0.1 because I'm so fed up of when I'm out and about uh, in me having to kill things or loot berries to feed myself. Uh, you still will have to feed yourself from time to time, but this is something I didn't want to worry about, so I took it down to a 0.1. Player stamina reduction rate, again a 0.1 again, so I think I was actually stressing about when I was capturing pals, the bigger pals, they hit a lot harder, especially earlier on. Um, I was, well, allowing my power to fight them while I was running around trying to avoid damage. I was just running out of stamina so much. And when those bigger powers chase you uh, and you got no stamina and you get one slapped and you lose that catch, it does my head in. So I thought, yeah, a 0.1 is completely fine. Player auto HP regeneration rate. A 3 is perfectly fine here. Um, again, don't get it twisted. It isn't overpowered. Put it on 3 and try it out for yourself. You'll see that if you're in a battle and you're getting hit, like I said earlier, your HP, your shield in this game, for me anyway, just isn't good enough mid to end game. Um, so having a little bit of a buff in regards to my regeneration rate and my HP is pretty good and that's what a 3 is. Uh, same with player sleep HP regeneration rate as well. Put it at a 3, see how it is for you. I think it's just about right in my opinion. Damage to structure multiplayer. I put mine at a 0.5 because I was so fed up. Of actually, when I get raided, I actually love the raids in this game. But when they're trying to take down my base and they have to think about or worry about trying to fix it again especially when you got multiple bases too um so yeah i put this down to it's bare minimum people but if that feels if that's something you actually like you like rebuilding after being raided um you can put this at a one put it at a two but i think a 0.5 is perfectly fine a structure deterioration rate again on a zero i don't want my shit going bad over time so yeah put mine at a zero Maximum number of dropped items in the world. Now this is 3000. Now I'm not exactly sure uh, how this works. I don't know if that's, it says maximum number of dropped items in the world. Now I think this could be in regards to, say for instance, if you've got a base where you've got powers farming that metal for you, that aura, and there's, let's say there's 3000 individual pieces of it on the floor, uh, anything more would despawn. 
or because I've had a little trouble uh, a trouble with my ingots. Now, whenever I've had a high stack of ingots, let's say it weighs over 3,000 or weighs around that amount and I've dropped them out of my inventory, they've just vanished in front of me. So this could be tied to weight as well, I'm not sure. And this is a tip I do insist on people doing. If you put a power box down, put it on a stone foundation, because let's say for instance, you go to a different base where your powers are farming that ore for you and you pick it all up and you're over in combat, but you're right next to, well, you, what you should do is anyway, if you've got a separate base, you should definitely build your container boxes right by the power box. Uh, as well as the forges if you're burning metal or smelting metal right there too i build them all real close together meaning you can take one and you can take the metal from the forge put it in your your container and then you can just pick it up from the container even though you're over in combat you can turn around access your power box and fast travel to your your first base uh, and if you do this guys you'll obviously want to drop that metal or that that material on the floor uh, if your power box isn't on a foundation and it I don't know if it's a certain number of a certain thing or it weighs too much there's a chance it will despawn that's what's been happening with me so yeah definitely build your power boxes on foundations and definitely build containers right next to them to make it easier for when it comes to removing materials when you're over encumbered so yeah okay so gather what items multiply so when it comes to you farming um simply just easier to Okay, so gatherable items multiplayer. So when it comes to farming, guys, you'll get, I don't know if it's an actual three times uh, buff here. I think it might be the same multiplayer. So yeah, you'll get three times the amount, which is just fine, easier. Gatherable items HP multiplayer, I actually haven't changed this. I mean, you can, if you, I'm guessing the higher this is up, the more you'll get out of said rock or rock tree, um, sulfur rock, whatever, so yeah. Probably best to put this up to a three. I didn't actually think about this, so I'm gonna keep, keep mine at three. So I'll get more of said item. Gatherable items, respawn interval, put this up to the max two guys. It just means say for instance if you're farming farming ore, trees, berries, the rate in which they will respawn. So yeah, keep this up at a max. Okay, so next up we have drops items multiplier. Keep this at three two. So when it comes to farming, say powers for that uh high quality power oil or i don't know you want something else from a power leather a wool a meat uh, this means it'll just drop at three times the rate so yeah keep that at three two time to incubate uh, eggs now i'm actually going to put this back to a one because i like a little bit of suspense i had it at zero when you're at a zero guys you put your eggs straight in the incubator and it incubates instantly there's no time to wait i actually like the suspense i'm going to pop mine at a one I think the max you'll get at about one is about probably five or ten minutes on an egg depending on the size raid events i actually enjoy when your base gets raided and you can take out all the enemies that come it's just free loot at the end of the day so yeah keep that on if you want if you don't want your base to be raided turn it off uh death penalty i turn this to no drops because i was so sick and tired um because it's standard on drop all items now if you died in a part of the map where you haven't got a fast travel point anywhere near it uh, you'll drop all the items on your body so whether you've got eggs on you you've got your spheres you've got ingots you've got whatever you'll drop all items meaning you'll have to go back to collect them i got fed up with it so i just i don't i'm on death now i drop absolutely nothing so i ain't got to worry about going back to said location now max number of guilds if you're playing by yourself it doesn't really matter if you plan on having people inside of your world uh, you can increase this to whatever you want 20 a standard completely fine uh, work uh, well max powers working at base i'll put mine i think it's standard at 15 i put mine to a 20 just because i like to farm faster get things done faster so yeah a 20 and there we have it guys my new and updated world settings for my current world which i'm having a great time on now some of these can be adjusted like i said if if you use these and it feels a little bit overpowered you feel like it's just too easy change a couple of them but there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one